Okay guys, I want to show you a common issue with these small carburetors. Um, this video I'm actually making for Leroy, but I knew that uh, this is a good question and a good issue that pops up and a problem that needs to be solved for a lot of people, so I thought I'd make a video as well for everybody else. So, um, the carb cleaner that, I'm, that I use, I'll put in the description below that if you want it, you can click the link and see how much it is and if you decide to get it or whatever. But So any carburetor that you have, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this last bolt off to get the bowl off. So any carburetor that you have, his is a 49cc, I believe, moped, um, but it doesn't matter whether it's a lawnmower, whether it's a 49cc, this one came off of a Polaris 400. They're all gonna look a, bit, a little bit different, but the issue is the same. So you have a lot of spitting and sputtering and you've already tried the carb cleaner, or maybe it's just cranking and it's not starting, you're not getting any fuel at all. Let me show you why. So let's go ahead and take the bowl off. And again, your bowl may be different. If it's a lawnmower, it's just got the one bolt down there. Uh, maybe four bolts, maybe six bolts, eight bolts. So this float here um, runs on the inside of the bowl and yours may not. Uh, the 49cc does not. It is linked to the needle valve. So, um, and in order to adjust that float, when you get done with this, flip this carb upside down and make sure that the float is sitting level. If it's sitting too low, then the carburetor will flood because it goes up too high in order to fill the carb. If it's sitting too high, the carburetor will starve. So your vehicle will starve, you won't get very much speed out of it. So that'll help you too if you have those issues. Um, but his particular issue is no fuel at all, I believe, or spitting and sputtering. So uh, on your carb, most of them, right down through the center here is the jet that you wanna take care of and pull out of the center. This Polaris 400 is actually up here is the issue that causes those problems. So whether it's here or here, pull them out. And this one is gonna take, almost all of them take a small skinny flathead. So pull it out. And let me show you why when you run carb cleaner in here, 99% of the time it doesn't work. Um, because you're spraying the carb through the intake of the carb. There we go. You're spraying the carburetor through here and you're cleaning everything there, but you're not cleaning in here. But then you say, hey, no, I pulled that out and cleaned it. There's a hole down through the center. That's fantastic. So it'll get fuel? Absolutely not. Make sure that you clean the side because this sucks the air to create a vacuum to suck the fuel up through the center. Now, whether it's here or here, the Polaris also has this one here that has to have vacuum, pull or not vacuum, but air. And so make sure that these are clean as well if you have the Polaris. But uh, the biggest thing is most people look through these or they just blow air through them because they don't want to pull them out. That's a big no-no. You have to pull them out and you have to clean the side holes right there. Those must be clean. If they cannot get the, the amount of air through there, they will not create the vacuum and suck the fuel up through here. I think that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. So I hope this video helps somebody out. If there's anything else that you need, Leroy, give me a call and I'll make another video for you. And anybody else as well, leave a comment down below and I'll take care of you. So please do me a favor and click like. Please subscribe and click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.